All right, my friends. Um, I have to drink to make this video a little bit, and that's because I don't like saying what I'm about to say. You should get a Red Hat Certified Engineer Certificate if you want to work in operations. If you want to work in operations, high performance computing, DevOps, infrastructure engineering, security, if any of those things interest you, you really should pursue a Red Hat Certified Engineering degree. Why am I drinking? Because I hate saying that. I absolutely hate it. I hate it. I sold my stock in Red Hat that I held in 2020 or something like 2002 or something because they sold out the Fedora. There's been, I mean, there's been so many things about, about Red Hat that I do not approve of that I do not like. But this video is for you. This video is not about um, to drink more beer. <laughs> it's just recording. It's just re-recording. Just an excuse to drink more beer. Am I slurring my words yet? I am desperately seeking Balmer Peak uh, to finish this video. And this video is very short. So like, it's going to be under five minutes. And the message is very simple. Get your Red Hat Certified Engineer Certificate. Just do it. Pay the money. Figure it out. Make it happen. Here's why. Getting a Red Hat Certified Engineer Certificate is more valuable than a computer science degree in terms of getting most jobs, particularly jobs in, in infrastructure engineering. So I'm not, I'm not talking about computer science. There are people that will give you a job for having a computer science degree. Think about how much money a computer science degree costs. How much money does a certified engineer in Red Hat cost? Probably about one thirtieth of the money. I have no idea. I haven't even looked. I do not have my Red Hat certified engineer. But I'm going to tell you right now, even though I'm 56 years old, I'm going to retire in six years, I am still going to pursue the knowledge and skills necessary to be a Red Hat certified engineer. I, I worded that very carefully. I may not actually pay to become a Red Hat certified engineer, but I very seriously plan on acquiring the skills necessary to become a certified engineer. Why? Because my immediate job responsibilities include leveraging Red Hat's version and of Ansible in the enterprise in order to deploy for example, my Kubernetes login code that I wrote so that the entire enterprise can log into Kubernetes and do whatever they want. This is all stuff that I am regularly paid a very handsome salary for. And my pursuit of the Red Hat Certified Engineer is in line with that, particularly because there are certain things which you cannot learn any other way. It's not like I can fire up a lab when running Red Hat Ansible Configuration Manager. Right? I just can't do it. The unfortunate reality of proprietary software such as this, such as Red Hat, is that there's really no way for you to learn it. This, this was true for DB2, by the way, with IBM. It's a database platform that people would spend thousands of dollars to learn because there was no way to learn it on your own. Seriously, people would spend thousands of dollars to learn DB2 on their own and then they would become the industry experts in DB2 and they would basically tell people what to do because they're, they would, they would, they were making six, seven, six figure salaries, you know, in the eighties because there was no way to be a DB2 engineer without having invested a serious amount of money to even understand how it works. The same is not true of Red Hat Enterprise, but it's partially true. So therefore, I think you should, I think you should consider it. Um, and that, that is where you should go about doing that. Um, it makes me very sad to recommend learning a certification and paying the money. And I mean, seriously, where's my beer? I don't like what is I report on what is, you know why? Because I'm here for you. And I said this before, I'm going to say it again. I am here to help you. I am here to help you make money. And then I'm going to end the video on this. 
then you can do what you want outside of that. And I, I tried to make a bit version of this video before. I'm going to try to make it more simply. Chris Nova, the late great Chris Nova, said, "We learn Go. Most of us will be programming Go for the rest of our lives, but Rust represents a new hope for a better future." And she proceeded to then code in Rust until she died. And the sentiment is valuable, whether you're, it's related to Go programming or it's related to accepting what is versus what you want for the future. You can compartmentalize those two and it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to consider it. You're not, you're not, you're not, you know, sex, selling sexual favors. You're just selling Red Hat. <laughs> <laughs> in order to pay the bills <laughs> okay and then you know and then at the same time i mean this is kind of i i really mean that i actually knew somebody somebody some people may know this my ex my my son-in-law dated a dated a sex worker and she was also a um the strange absolutely strange story she was also a social worker by day she was a social worker by night she was a sex worker and I always thought that was so interesting because she paid the bills with her sex work, but she, you know, she was salt of the earth, um, uh, you know, making nothing. Uh, do you need to sell your body? No, you need to. Do you need to sell yourself to learn Red Hat? Probably. And and I plan to do the same. I I am going to pursue Red Hat certified engineer, whether or not I get the certificate or not. Uh, I want you to know, and I am definitely slurring my speech because. Making a video like this makes me very sad. I don't like the way the world is currently. I do not like that you have to pay, you have to bow down to the temple of Red Hat, even though Red Hat made all their money off of open source and all the contributions from all the hardworking individual Linux contributors the world has ever known for free. And they turned around and capitalized on all that and made fucking bank off of it. My one swear word. Does that make me sick to my stomach? Yes, absolutely. Does it mean it's not the truth? No. So accepting what is and capitalizing on what is in order to live, live another day and make something better of our world is essential. It's essential. It's a theme in Mr. Robot as well. I'm going to end the video there. Bye-bye.